Hi everyone, it's Linda here, and today I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a day. Although of course every day I do eat something different, I start off every morning by walking my dog. This day in particular, after my walk, I came back and I worked on a slideshow for my summer internship while drinking my green tea that my dad makes me every morning and also taking my multivitamins that I love and staying hydrated. Milo joined me as I did a little bit more research before breakfast time. For breakfast today, I was craving my yogurt bowls, especially as the weather has been getting much warmer where I live. I'm saying that while I'm wearing a large furry coat, but I've been really craving some fresh berries and fruit. I'm using my vanilla Greek yogurt, I'm topping it off with some blueberries, some chopped strawberries, and half a banana. I also like to add on some hemp hearts and some chia seeds because it seems to be what everyone else does and they are really good for you. And as you can see, I added some crunchy cereal on top just for a little added texture. It's a mix between, I think, vectors and some type of cinnamony crispy cereal. Tell, I think my dog is the cutest thing in the whole world. So after the workout, I did munch on a few strawberries because they looked so good and I was getting a little bit hungry for dinner. So for dinner, we decided to make some homemade chipotle bowls. Now, I do walk you through some of the steps, but I'm gonna leave the actual recipes in the description box below. So for Chipotle's signature chicken, you're gonna to wanna to start off by cutting your chicken breast into like bite-sized pieces. Then for the marinade, you're just gonna to wanna to measure out all these spices and then put them into a little bowl or ramekin. For the marinade, you're also gonna want some garlic and onions. Toss those into the blender along with the spices and some olive oil and just blend it all up. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing and I'm sorry if you're vegan or vegetarian, but in the end, trust me, it tastes pretty good. After I toss the chicken in the fridge to marinate for a few hours, I just started chopping up some of the vegetables needed for the other side dishes and toppings that you typically find at Chipotle. So when the chicken's done marinating, I just heated a pan, added some olive oil, and sauteed my onions and peppers, and then I added the chicken to the same pan to cook. And when the chicken's done cooking, it should look something like this. The recipe to my pico de gallo will be listed in the description box below. Super easy, yet super, super delicious. We also had so many cans of corn we had to go through, so we made some corn salsa. And the recipe, of course, is also linked below. So I can never go to Chipotle without getting the guacamole. I actually found this recipe as like a copycat version of the Chipotle guac, and it's so good, and I'll link it below as well. I 
I just put all three of the toppings in the fridge while I made the black beans. For this super easy recipe, I just heated a pan with some olive oil, sauteed some onions in it, added some garlic, mixed it all together until it smelled really good, and then I added the black beans just from a can, and then some lemon juice, cilantro, some chicken broth. The actual recipe will be linked in the description box. Basically, I just let it sit there for like 15 minutes, let the water evaporate, and then you have some delicious black beans to put on your chipotle bowl. My mom also made some sautéed lettuce and green beans, and this was my final product. I obviously went back for seconds and thirds.